Hello, it's Michael here. Welcome back to the Joy of Code. Uh, today, just a short remark about something that you may or may not have discovered already. I just want to show you today how you can customize your scenario to do your own thing. So, beyond what I'm actually showing you and telling you what you can try out, uh, if you want to play around with it and make it your own, get your own ideas in, uh, modify it a bit, the first and easiest thing to do is to just change the images. For example, here um, we're now up to the stage where I have my turtle, trick the turtle, running around. I can control him and uh, the snakes are running around. So I've got the start of a little computer game here. If you've poked around in Greenfoot and looked around a bit, tried, you may have discovered that you can quite easily change images. So if you right-click on a class, uh, there's a set image method, and you can change the image. So for my snake, for example, um, let's say I um, look through here. I've got an image uh, image library here, um, and let's say I make that a rock. If I compile this, suddenly my snakes are rocks, and the rocks are fl moving around here, which doesn't really make so much sen sense on, on sand. But I can make the world, um, I can set the image here, go to the backgrounds. Let's see what we have here. If I can change, you can see that changing here. I can make it underwater, or I can make it space. Let's say I want to set this in space. Now I've got uh, rocks flying around the space. What used to be my turtle, I can change that image um, and look what I have here. Uh, make that a rocket. Okay, if I now compile this, now I have a rocket flying through space. Um, having letters here doesn't make so much sense if I change this now. Uh, let's see what I want. Um, I have people, for example. Let's say I make that the hitchhiker that I have to pick up. So I've got the hitchhiker in space and I'm flying around my rocket ship um, and I have to pick up the hitchhikers while avoiding the asteroids. Uh, now suddenly, even with exactly the same code, just having different images um, gives you a different game story. And so that usually also gives you different ideas. For example, here, what used to be my lettuce is now people floating in space. So that gives you maybe the idea that these should not be entirely still, but maybe they should be moving around as well. Um, of course, now also the names of these classes don't make much sense. So you should really um, adapt those. If I go to the lettuce, for example, and I change this to a person. Oh, slight typing error here. Um, then you will see I need to change another bit as well because here I'm creating letters, so I need to remove the references to letters there. And in my turtle, which should now be called spaceship or rocket, there's a reference to letters class. I need to change it everywhere. So it is actually easier if you do that early on. So early on in your game, um, when I do things with a snake and a turtle, uh, you may uh, do things you know you could create instead a spaceship and a and a person and a and an asteroid class and do the same things with that. Let me just change this for now. Change this back to lettuce, just so that my scenario compiles again. Um, this is a very easy way um, to start personalizing your own scenario and to make it look very different and to get different ideas for functionality because from out of a different uh, storyline of course you get different game ideas. One last thing to show you is if you set the image for anything there's also an import from file here where you can use not only the images that are here in the predefined icon library but you can use any image that you have in your file system. Um, so if you have an image that you made um, yourself in some kind of graphics program, use this import from file or, and, and use it. Or you can here, if you want to make variations of it, if I want something like this, like the rock, but I want it to look a bit differently, you can duplicate it, you know, then you have a duplicate and then you can edit it in a graphics program. So this 
starts a graphics program on your system for you to edit this image. So play around with these images, try to think up your own storyline, um, make something that's maybe not a turtle, but something else, you know. It might be a rocket flying in space, it might be a car driving around in a town, it might be, you know, a white blood cells floating around in the blood trying to to catch viruses or the story doesn't really matter try to make something up for yourself play around with the images i'll show you something about image editing in a later episode uh, but for now just see what you can do yourself okay that's it bye bye